Anzac Day is held every year on the 25th of April to remember the Australian and New Zealand soldiers who died in battle, especially during the two world wars. This morning's dawn service saw relatives of the fallen soldiers, together with friends and allies in attendance. The PNG DF participated in a parade with representatives from the Royal PNG Constabulary and the Allied Forces. Poems about the Second World War, together with Bible readings, were presented by various representatives. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill said, Anzac Day is a time to remember the sacrifices the fallen soldiers made for the country. We must not just remember their sacrifice, but we must continue to remember what they did for us. We reflect on the courage that they displayed, how they rose to the challenges and the threats that they faced. So many brave young people who lost their lives in the Libby. The Bomanawo Cemetery is a place where 3,842 soldiers were buried. From this buried, 699 were unidentified soldiers. Papua New Guineans also played a big part in helping the fallen soldiers during the war. The Prime Minister said this is a symbol of growing partnership with PNG. One could not imagine that at the height of the Second World War, the governments of Australia, New Zealand, Japan, and the United States would one day stand together in unity for the people of Papua New Guinea. This is a symbol of growing partnership between our countries, and it was still with an answer between our leaders of nations. PNZDF Commander Gilbert Toropo also said similar sentiments of the war and fallen soldiers. He said this creates a bond with the PNZ Defense Force and the Allied Forces. Just as the Papua New Guinea Defense Forces history is inseparable, linked with Australia, with the Pacific Islands Regiment, fighting with distinction from Kokoda to Bougainville over the period 1942 to 1945. For the Australians, the Kokoda Trail holds a big part of their war history. Some Australians also walked the Kokoda Trail to get to the Anzac Dawn service this morning. For Australians that do the pilgrimage across the Kokoda Trail, to finish the night before and then attend this Anzac Dawn service here at Pamana War Cemetery is probably the highlight of the lives for many of them. This is the most significant pilgrimage an Australian can do. The Dawn service ended with lying of wreath by the Governor General, the Prime Minister, followed by other individuals from Australia and New Zealand. Rayon Lakingu National, MTV News.